Today let's talk about plants again inshallah. A uh, very interesting uh, structure of the plants I would like to talk about. It's the plants uh, which uh, man's their wants, mm -hmm. which man's their own wants. Plants which have a very important role in the maintenance of the ecological balance and life in the world uh, have many superior qualities and one of these qualities is that they can mend and renew their own ruptured organs. It's an amazing yes, structure, yes. mashallah. Uh, it, uh, Let's talk about how it comes. Mm -hmm. It becomes cells begin to multiply rapidly again just after a certain loss of a tissue occurs in the plant. And uh, when they fill in the area where the ruptured organ was, the incidence and the increase in the number of the cells are realized through mitotic division. And the speed repair mechanism in the uh, starts right after the injury. After the plants injured, the chromosomes in the cells multiplies in this way and they can produce more of the protein required for growth and multiplication. Normally chromosomes in the cells and uh, nucleus are doubled every time the human cell is divided. However, the chromosomes are copied again in the parts where the plant is ruptured, but since there is no growth, the cell has doubled the normal amount of chromosomes. And uh, as this process continues, the chromosomes cop uh, copies invariably increase. It increases when the rupture uh, yes. occurs. And in this way, the ruptured uh, parts of the plants are mended. Mashallah. An experiment uh, which scientists did on the pepper grass, which I can see the picture of yes. it, uh, clearly shows its perfect uh, characteristics. Our Lord bestowed the plants. Mm. When the bud of the pepper grass is picked up, it has only 10 chromosomes per cell. And after a couple of copies, the number of chromosomes rises up to 320. Mashallah. Yes. In this way, in certain cells, type of cells, the number of chromosomes increases and the plants grow in a fastest, uh, faster and better way. Yes, mashallah. And such anti-replications, which means the increase of uh, the number of the chromosomes, are common in the placenta and of nematodes and grass seed and the rodents. The fact that the cells in the plant know that the number of the chromosomes needs to increase for the repair of uh, the injured part cannot happen via possibility of calculations or the, through the help of coincidences like evolutionists uh, claim. Yes. Uh, so uh, this incident, let's compare this with the human beings. In serious injuries like the traffic accidents or workplace accidents, people's organs may be ruptured. And there are some conditions for people's ruptured organs to made functional again. Yes, and uh, it is required that the ruptured organ is, is still inact, that is not, uh, not harmed too much, and that the vascular system are uh, in a good shape. And in addition, uh, the ruptured organs uh, need to be kept in a cold and dry environment. Yes, we need this uh, certain structures and functions uh, has mm -hmm. to be uh, available for this organ to be uh, stay available and can be used. And certain field of uh, specialty is required to repair the ruptured organs. And ruptured organs can be sewn and the transplantation surgery can be carried out by surgeons who are trained microsurgery or transplantation. Yes. They have to be specially trained to do this, perform the surgery. And uh, this is because microsurgery stitching is techniques are quite different than the normal yes. ones. Uh, as it's seen on the uh, stitching our ruptured organ back together, requires a great care and exp uh, experience. Not only a normal doctor mm -hmm. can do, perform this, there, it has to be, that, pers that person has to be trained uh, specially for to perform the surgery. It has to be yes. special trained, uh, the micro uh, surgery stitching, he has to know it. And if there is any complications before or after the surgery, it's impossible that the organ could carry out its uh, functions. Most important of all, the, if these organs cannot be stitched back together or successfully translated, the human body cannot produce a new one to replace the ruptured one. Yes. Yet the uh, plants, what they do is amazing, but uh, the human beings cannot do something like this. Yes. When they lose an organ, it's gone. When yes. they cannot uh, find and re-stitch it, uh, that means it's gone. And they uh, sometimes they use the organ by another person, yes. but uh, uh, it is very difficult the, 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 to match exactly because we know that if um, there is a transportation, for example, of arm, sometimes it uh, cannot be successful, and the person even can die. Yes. 
uh, which is um, w which we cannot see in the plant. Uh, in the plant, there is only one uh, plant, one creation of Allah, and it don't have any conscience, it don't, uh, don't have any intelligence, but it can reproduce itself. Yes. It can, uh, say when uh, there is a harm, it can say uh, to um, its chromosomes, uh, let they uh, produce more chromosomes and let the organ yes. um, mm -hmm. come again uh, at, this, at its place, but it is not the case with the human beings. Yes. We cannot yes. say, uh, pro say produce more chromosomes or even when we made th this transplantation, we cannot uh, say to the organ fit exactly the way it is uh, the old yes. organ. Because Allah created us to show our weakness in this world. It's not our permanent life. We are not going to stay here forever. Mm -hmm. Our life is our real life is in the hereafter. And Allah created the world only for to us to try, mm -hmm. our, to try us, to show our beings what we have done inshallah yes. and plants are able to renew their ruptured parts like a broken branch in a very fast way this is because all of these are the part of the system that forms the plant and Allah is the one who places the necessary information in the plant cells and as a all living things in the world who creates all the things perfectly who knows every creation as is seen in the example, all living things in the world are created with systems, like every detail of uh, which is finely planned, depending on very sensitive balances. We see this everywhere, without exception, in every place we look. We see every, whenever we look, we always see the perfect creation of yes. our Lord Allah, yes. mashallah. mashallah. We never see any crack, we never see any uh, something not correct. It's always perfect, everything we see, everything we observe, mashallah. And all the living things uh, present Allah who created them. Like everything in the world, Allah uh, all plains and maintains their existence thanks to the system that Allah specially created. And this truth all, uh, Allah reveals in the Quran in several verses. And I like to read one of them. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. He who created the seven heavens in layers. You will not find any flaw in the creation of all the merciful. Look again, do you see any gaps? Then look again and again. Your sight will return to you dazzled and exhausted. These verses are from the Surah al muk verse 3 and 4, mashallah. Allah it shows that uh, with the examples, with the science and the faith topics, that everything He has created is in a perfect manner, yes. mashallah. Yes. And Allah also uh, shows us and tells us in the Quran that we can never find, we can never uh, find any gasp, we can never find any mistake. Allah created everything in a perfect manner, mashallah. mashallah. Some atheists claim that Allah uh, cr creates not perfectly, unperfectly. Yes. Uh, but it is not true, as we know, because as uh, there is, um, Allah says it in the Quran, everywhere we look, everything is perfect. And uh, some, for example, um, weaknesses we have in our body is especially created by Allah to show us our weakness as uh, Sister Gizan said uh, because mm, uh, if otherwise uh, there was uh, the people will not worship Allah yes. and uh, they may become uh, worship themselves yes. on the other uh, hand and it is very important for us to understand our weaknesses, to understand that Allah is the most grateful, uh, Allah is the perfect one, yes. uh, not the people. And um, when uh, we look at the plant, we see a great creation of Allah, uh, because uh, it don't have, uh, it don't need uh, to clean itself, but it's very clean. It is. Um, coming from a uh, dark soil, but yes. uh, it is very clean and have a perfect colors. Uh, yes. We know that when we buy some clothes and when we are wearing them several days and uh, we wash them, uh, their um, color they is we weak away. And start to ruin. Yes, Literally. but uh, with the plants, uh, there is uh, not uh, such <laughs> thing. Yes. They are always with perfect uh, color, always very clean. Never fade away. Never fade Marshall. away, yes. But uh, they don't need uh, to do something to be like this. But people must do something. They must go wash themselves. They must dress themselves. Yes. They mu must look at themselves. They must make makeup to look better. But yes. Allah creates the flower uh, in a perfect way, very yes. beautiful, right? When we see one flower, uh, we, we take uh, we have a great. Uh, greatly enjoy it uh, because it uh, it is perfect 
but um, there uh, the flower don't have so so uh, there is not a case that uh, it worship itself yes. right uh, Allah says in the Quran that uh, on the contrary it worships Allah yes. and yes. it bows down to Allah and to Allah